Okay, so I'm going to show you very quickly how to use a linear array tool. Um, Inventor calls it a rectangular pattern, but we're going to use the SQL language a linear array. So we've got a feature here, and we're going to create um, a number of those features repeating up, up and across this block. Um, one word of warning: uh, I said this if you've listened to the tutorial on the radial array. Don't do the array in the sketch. I can do that here, I could create an array of that in the sketch. If I do that though, when I come back to this stage, um, I would need to select all the profiles that I've just created before I could extrude them, um, and that's going to take a long time. And also, when you get to the drawing stage, it's not going to recognize this as a kind of pattern. So some of the um, features that will save you time dimensioning it won't, won't recognize it and you can't use them. So best practice, create the features and then create the array from the features. So let's pick up that, that tool, let's select the feature we're going to use for our array and as you can see here we've got two directions we can do it in. I'm going to pick up one direction first so we can just do a sing simple linear array, it's going to do it in one direction. This arrow is going the wrong, wrong way so we can flip it, um, maybe your spacing is not what you need, I'll make that 15 and let's have a few more of these. So you'll have a drawing that will tell you how many you want. And then we've got OK that, we can see we've now got our array coming. If I want to do it in two directions then I need to give it the second direction here which for me would be along that line and maybe I just want two but I want them a bit further apart oh, not that far apart something like that would be fine so we can use it to create the uh, array, the pattern in two directions um, another reason not to create your array in a sketch if I want to make some changes to this here, so I want to add a fillet to the top of it, um, make it just a small one, or another feature, maybe you want to put a hole, maybe there's, there's another bit next to it, I don't know. Um, if I do them here, see I dragged up the end of part so it's not affecting the pattern. Uh, so I've got any number of things here that I want to use for the array, I can drag that back. Now if I edit my array here, I can actually go back to the pick up the feature I can pick up that fillet there, oops I've turned it off sorry, pick up that feature there and it's now going to include both those features when it does the, the array pattern. So you can pick up any number of, of objects, uh, sorry any number of features if you want them patterned. So spend the time working out what it is you want to, to, to include in the array, get it all done first and then um, use the array command afterwards.